Okay, just get rid of all the ones you can. What, is, what, what are you? What do you do for a living? You're a tortoise. Do I need a tortoise right now? I feel that I don't. Can I? Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here. Today, seeing what we might want to do with RimWorld. Now, here's the thing with RimWorld. Here's my thing with RimWorld. I have watched a lot of RimWorld. I've watched my fellow Granite Accidents member, both Grem Devel and Sibyllin, play RimWorld, and it looked really cool. I love the idea of RimWorld. I love the emerging narrative. I love the story generation. It all looks fantastic, but I've always been a little skeptical and nervous about playing it because of its insane complexity, which doesn't really go well with the way I play games, which is largely jumping into them feet first and trying to figure it out as I go along, and that's going to be a little tricky in RimWorld where survival is the name of the game, and I, I don't see my colony lasting much more than a day or so, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. I was gifted RimWorld by a very good friend of the channel, long-standing friend of the channel, so thank you, Lionel, for that, for gifting RimWorld to me. So now I'm kind of stuck with it. Now, now I've got it. I have no excuse not to play it. So we're going to take a shot at it and see what we want to do with it and see how you guys like me playing RimWorld. I, I can't imagine it's going to end well, but we're going to do the best we can. Now, I put so far, maybe about, ooh, three, four hours into this in my own time, just kind of messing around, getting the basic hang of it, and failing miserably. There there, there were amputations. We, we won't discuss that right now, but but things happened. I, I, it's a story for another day. Anyway, so I've messed around with it a bit in my own time, just to kind of get the very, very, very basics down. I want to just start out with a fresh new colony and go from there and see what we want to do with this. And I'm going to kind of go with all the basic stuff, just the sort of, you know, easy learning, softer learning curve stuff that's going to play a lot better to me. We're not going with naked brutality or extra difficult. No, that doesn't sound like me at all. That's not the sort of thing I do here. Now, here is where I'm going to get flamed in the comments, because we very, very briefly live streamed this for about all of 14 minutes while the game perpetually crashed. Again, a story for another day. And the choice of who my AI storyteller is going to be caused no end of debate. Here's my bottom line and my final word, we're going with Phoebe for a very important reason to me, in that it's the time between disasters. It says it right there on the screen. Lots of time between disasters. That's all I'm looking for. I'm not saying I don't want no challenge or no disasters. I'm not that simple-minded, but I would like at least some time between them to kind of figure out what happened and react to it and deal with it before something else comes down the pike and tries to wreck me. I'm going to go builder mode. I know I, I could just go in peaceful mode and, you know, really nothing would happen, but I don't think that's that exciting for viewers. I'll take builder, just very basic, straightforward, here's here's how things are going to go kind of level. And let's go with reload anytime because that's going to be vitally important to me. What else we got? Yeah, just a randomized seed will be fine. Sure, backgammon, why not? That's a perfectly sensible word to have. Let's generate a world, figure out where we're going to live, and then get on to this little bit of chaos. Okay, what do we got here? I'm probably going to go ahead and stay away from the red skull and crossbones death sign. That's that's probably not good. I actually, I'm not 100% sure what that means. What is that? That's Grasshopper Town, apparently, with a howitzer lineup as a faction. Okay, the fact that they're naming themselves after an enormous weapon leads me to believe I probably shouldn't settle near them. What's going on down here? Tropical rainforest, large hills. Okay, I was hoping for something a little flatter, maybe. How about uh, over here? Temperate forest. All right, well, that, that sounds more promising. Temperate swamp sounds less promising. How about somewhat near here? Temperate forest again, flat. Sure, you know what? Six of one, half dozen of the other. Let's just rock onto that and see what we can do with our colonists. Now, here in the characters, I think we will have a little bit of fun in that I'm just going to completely randomize them. I will have no control over the characters. That's the only sort of challenge I'm going to give myself, if you even want to call it that. The only thing that I would like is at least one person with some degree of medical skill. I think that's important. I, I don't really want to have no doctors of any kind, not even just basic slapping a Band-Aid on someone. So, uh, Grill, let's randomize you. You are now... Sizzlard man, okie doke, you're incapable of dumb labor, you're psychically sensitive, and you're greedy. 
Okay. No, uh, no medical skill, though, huh? No, medical st skill of exactly zero. You do have a tiny, tiny bit of shooting skill. That will probably be good. All right, Sizzlard, you're in. Now, James, let's randomize you. Uh, any medical skill there? Oh, yeah, medical of 10. Okay, Harriet Rowland, age 41, if indeed that is your real name. Well, it is now. You're nimble. What does that mean? Oh, you can dodge things. Well, that, that, does, that is what nimble means. Yeah, good job, Harriet. And you're psychically deaf. Righty. That's fine. And you're a defector. What does that do for you? Spent years on the run treating her own wounds so no doctor could betray her. Harriet, I like you already. You're on my team. Okay, you're definitely in. And, and Rex, let's randomize you. You're now Paula Rasmussen. Okay, a, a misandrist? Really dislikes and distrusts men. Okay, well, you're, you're going to have to live with, with this other guy up here. What's your first name again? Sislard, right. Yes, yes, yes. So, Paula, and you have creepy breathing. Breathes heavily all the time and sweats constantly. People find it creepy. I find it creepy, Paula. I find it creepy. Well, welcome to, welcome to my colony, you creepy, creepy misandrist, you. There we go. There's our, our three randomized people. At least we've got somebody with some medical skill. Everyone else is broadly terrible. Polly, you're incapable of being violent, too. Hmm. That's going to be a problem. That's gonna, And you're incapable of caring or being social or being intellectual. What exactly is it that, that you do here, Paula? What, what would you say it is you do, exactly? You're very artistic, I guess. That That's it, is it? Okay, well, guess who's on farming duty then? Guess who's going to be mining a lot of things? Well, you actually have a mining skill of zero. You're actually not bad at animals. Maybe we'll send you off to, I don't know, do things with animals in a non-creepy breathing kind of way. There we go. There's our colony. Let, let's get this party started. And a big crash landing onto the planet here. Paula and Harriet and man and what, what do we have? What, what are you? You are a... A Yorkshire Terrier. Really? Really? I have a Yorkshire Terrier? I love dogs. I'm not that crazy about about Yorkshire Terriers. All right, let's get some basics going here. Some of the things that I do somewhat understand, which is making sure these guys are allowed to have all these things. So, yes, you can have all of that. Oh, that's a hat. Hang on, hang on. That's a hat. Um, Paula, you're the one who's terrible at being violent, so you probably should not get the hat. Uh, you, however, man, can have the hat. You have a hat, and you have a rifle. Do that. Why, why do you not want a hat? Wear the hat. Wear the hat, then get a rifle. It's really, really simple instructions. Uh, Harriet, Harriet, why don't you have a pistol? This is the best of my knowledge you can have a gun. Polly, you're probably not going to want to get in on that. Can you have a knife at least? I know you're, you're probably, yeah, no, cannot equip it. All right, fine. Well, hang on, guys. Let me uh, let me earmark at least a little area where you can start dumping stuff. And what have we got to work with? Oh, I like this building. Well, partial building, partial side of a mountain. Oh, that's going to be good. We're gonna we're gonna try and tunnel that out. We'll live in there. We'll definitely look at that. We we'll got some water over here. That's good. Anything else going on that I need to know about? This is uninvestigated over here. Animals. What are you? You are an Ibex Doe. Delightful. And an Ibex Ram. We might have to kill you later. Oh, and, and, and what's this? Sheep? No, muffalos. Even better. Even better. Nothing like a good muffalo steak. That's what I always say. Well, we've actually crash-landed pretty much exactly where I wanted to. This is a great little spot to start setting up camp. I'm seeing front door right there. Tunnel into the mountain. Live in a mountain like we're a bunch of dwarfs. Oh, where do we want to put our stockpile? I'm kind of dithering over the stockpile issue. Let's just put that over here. So that's what under architect and zone and stockpile. Oh, there's some, something good over there. Uh, you can live, oh, I don't know, right here for right now. Just start moving stuff over there, guys. And while you're doing that, I'll earmark other stuff that you're allowed to move. Yeah, you can have all that steel. Move all of that over there, please. Anything else you need right about now? How about all of this stuff? Uh, yeah, components, sure. Have them. What's that? A flak vest. Oh, uh, you, you, man, evangelist. Can you can you wear that? I guess you can. Did you not pick up the rifle? I, I thought I specifically told you to pick up the rifle. Get, get the rifle. Thank you. 
I, I know we need beds. I know we need recreation. I just got here, RimWorld. I just got here. Um, now, is this mountain or door? Don't know. Figure it out later. For right now, let's get some basics down, like actually building something. So, structure, give me walls, please. Let's start our little adventure here-ish, and here-ish, and here-ish. And for right now, that's going to be our front entry area, I hope. That's the goal, anyway. And who's doing what? Who's, who's on things that they need to be doing? Mm, okay, he's on construction. Man's on construction. Or rather, Evangelist is on construction. Oh, no, he is an Evangelist. Sorry, sorry. Well, man's on construction. Harriet's not. Uh, yeah, why don't you be on construction as well, please? I'd like to get this building done sooner rather than later. And you're doing what? You're you're prioritizing cooking. Why don't... You know what? Everybody's on construction. I'm overthinking this. Everybody get on the construction thing. And while we're at it, we're probably going to need a door. Doors are handy for getting in and out of the places that I want you to get in and out of. I'm going to get them started on a floor. Because they're going to need somewhere to sleep sooner rather than later. Or they're going to get fussy. Are you all hauling stuff? Yeah, you are. Good. Oh, oh, we need food. Um, I mean, we've got some food, but we need more food. Speaking of which, go get that food and go get these logs. Anything? Uh, go get whatever this is. Yeah, more steel. We're going to need that. And go get all of these logs. Everybody get all the things, please. And I'm going to start working on the food scenario. By that, I mean we need somewhere to start growing things. Uh, zone. Growing zone. How about here-ish? Cool. I honestly have no idea how big a zone we need to feed people. I just randomly make zones that line up with other things and then hope for the best. But you can plant corn. Everybody likes corn. Everybody likes corn. Who's on Who's on that duty? Who's on growing things? Harriet, you're going to get on that. You know what? Why don't you get on that, Harriet? I'm going to take you off construction and put you on growing things because that's slightly more important than the thing you're doing right now. I've got... Paula and Man desperately working on building a house so they have somewhere to sleep tonight. Okay, excellent. Now what? Well, apparently we've chosen exactly the wrong spot to set up camp because there's an ancient danger in in the mountain here somewhere. I mean, it's not gonna it's not gonna stop me from going in there at all. It's not gonna stop me from tunneling in and making that my new house. But you know, apparently there's an ancient danger right where we have decided to live forever. So, you know, that's going to work out. Uh, I know you need beds. Work on the floor first. Work on somewhere where you could actually stand. But let's get those starting to go here. Uh, you can have a bed and a bed and a bed. And I suppose we should put somewhere for the Yorkshire Terrier to sleep. You can sleep by the door. Not that crazy about Yorkshire Terriers. I like rat terriers and fox terriers, not so much with the Yorkshire terriers. Okay, they're plugging along there, and Harriet is getting through the corn planting. I feel like I should set more growing things up. I, I, I feel we should have more food. Um, that's probably, I mean, we've got these little, you know, MREs here, and that'll hold us for a little while. Speaking of which, I should put a shelf up. Because, and I'm never quite sure 100% which way they go around, but I'm going to put it this way just, just because. Um, that way we could put food inside, and it wouldn't be terrible because it would be food outside, which is broadly terrible. Yeah, let's build a shelf there, guys. When you get around to it, no immediate hurry, except that's the only place you've got to eat and sleep, so you should probably get on that. Yeah, let's build a shelf there. We can put our food in there while we work on, you know, things like a kitchen or a table or anything else um paula how you doing what 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 what's what's your deal lately you've been talking to man and paula about trees and you're talking about shoes maybe talk about building a bed that would be good and how are you doing on your oh okay you have very low expectations fantastic you are on the right youtube channel then well done uh your initial optimism oh you're the you're the master of the dog okay you're in charge of the terrier. Super. You're soaking wet. Well, if you went inside, that wouldn't be a problem now, would it? 
Well, let's get these beds owned so people stop being fussy about it. All right, Paula, you can have that bed. And Man, you can have that bed. And Harriet, you can have that bed. And if you're very, very good and work hard, I might even give you a medical bed later. Won't that be fun? Uh, did you finish the shelf? Yeah, you totally did. Okay, storage. Put all the foods in there, please. All the foods live in there, even the dog food, which I'm not 100% sure we have, but even the dog food can live in there. And then we're going to do something fun, folks. We're going to start mining. Won't that be a kick in the pants? So if we maybe said wanted to, oh, I don't know, go to orders and then start some mining, how about... Uh, there and there. Ah, are you considering this a wood wall? Do I actually need to put a door in there first? Okay, I could, I could probably deal with that. So you're, oh yeah, you 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 do want to you want a door there? Okay, we'll have a double door there. Super. When you guys get up in the morning, get on that. Well, Harriet got up nice and early in the morning while Man and Paula are still asleep, but she's up nice and early hauling stuff and putting food in the new shelf and all that stuff. I'm growing to like you, Harriet. You're a hard worker. I appreciate that. You know what else you could be doing around here is I'm um, chopping some trees down. I notice there's an excessive amount of trees that haven't been chopped down here. So why don't you get rid of all of those when you get a chance? And maybe that one. No, that one's not big enough yet. Neither is that one. Okay, just get rid of all the ones you can. What, is, what, what are you? What do you do for a living? You're a tortoise. Do I need a tortoise right now? I feel that I don't. Can I eat a tortoise? Well, I mean, the short answer is yes, I can eat a tortoise. Do I want to go and fight the tortoise, bearing in mind that this is Rimworld and the tortoise might kill me? Hmm. I'm going to leave the tortoise alone right at this exact second. I'm, I'm just not going to mess around with the tortoise. Mm, what we could probably use, though, is a little bit of security around here. Why don't you start putting up some sandbags here? And here, let's start gr guarding our growing area. That'll be a nice little do- Oh! Oh god! There are things! There are all the things in the world! What are you? You're- Okay, I think we found the source of evil. I, I think we found the source of the evil. It was behind the door. Oh, wow, they, they weren't kidding about the source of evil now, were they? Um, it's a giant centipede and a lancer. And it's 1,249 years old. And um, that one's 2,396 years old. I'm mostly looking at their ages because I'm not really sure what else to do with these things. Uh, everybody run away. Everybody go away. Everybody, no, don't fight it. Go over here. Go over it. No, you're, man, you're going to die. You're going to die. You're totally going to die. Yes, I know the colonist needs rescue. Okay, everybody kill this thing. K attack! Attack! Kill it! Even though you don't have any weapons! K oh, oh god! Man's down! Paula's gonna be down in a second! Run away! I knew this was gonna happen in Rimworld! Oh dear. Oh, they've even killed the dog. Oh. Alright! Um, and now they're just marching free. I've set evil onto the world. Uh, so good luck with that. That tortoise is probably in a lot of trouble right now. A lot of trouble. And you, I, I don't even know who you are. I didn't even didn't even get to meet you. Apparently, you were a colonist. I, I don't know if you were coming to join the column, but uh, the colony. But you're you're dead now. You're solely dead. You're a hundred percent dead. Everyone else is a hundred percent dead. I, I kind of had a feel this was how this was going to go down in in Rimworld. Well, I think important lesson learned here at the wee hours. Don't open the ancient evil door, because things live in it that want to kill me, and are very, very good at it. I think we'll just start all over again with Rimworld, and see if we can do slightly better at not unleashing ancient evil. Uh, I knew this was going to happen. Hey, if you've enjoyed this really bizarre video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe checking it out for the first time, I assure you this doesn't always happen. Most of the time. Not always. Uh, but feel free to hit that subscribe button and you can see more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours. And we'll see you next time. Wow. You could have hepatitis.
or golfer's elbow. I feel we should be able to narrow it down a little better. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a doctor, but I'm saying I might be able to know the difference between golfer's elbow or hepatitis. First thing I'd ask is, do you play golf? Where are you going?